Hello guys, in this video we'll learn how to upgrade your Windows 10 to Windows 11 on in supported hardware. The first step will open the browser. We'll go to Microsoft official website. scroll down a bit choose select download and choose windows 11 iso click download now for me i already downloaded so no need to this step the first step we're going to go to this microsoft uh, official website and here is we can find all the instructions how to install windows 11 or how to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 on unsupported hardware So here is the instructions that we are gonna use in this video to upgrade from uh, Windows 10 to Windows 11 and Before doing that I just want you to read this warning from Microsoft because this is Website it's belonging to Microsoft. So she just warns the user that installing Windows uh, 11 on in supported hardware so might appear some instability or issues or vulnerabilities so here we can see that you are acknowledged and understand the risk so since you read that let's open the search and let's open registry registry editor Since we opened the registry editor, we're going to copy this path. And we will paste it here. Now we see we are on Mo setup folder. Second step, we're going to copy this allow upgrades with in supported TPM or CPU copy this one and come here click right one right click and choose D word 23 bit value and delete this and paste the sentence that we copied before allow upgrades with in supported TPM or CPU and click enter then double click on it and choose this value data delete the zero and put number one and click OK and that was all the changes that we supposed to do to install Windows 11 now let's just close the registry editor and let's close also browser and here is we have the ISO of Windows 11 that we already downloaded since it finished downloading with you just double click on it to mount it and since it's mounted just click on set up double click and allow it and now we are ready to install windows 11 just i want to mention one necessary step before starting installing if your PC is connected with Wi-Fi just disable this connection or Ethernet
I will disconnect it from accessing the Wi-Fi and now we will be able to install Windows 11 but if your computer is connected with internet you will not be able to install so disable access to internet on this I want to help make this installation better and click next Click accept. And now the upgrades is started. So I will close this video and after the installation is completed, we will continue the video. See you. And now we installed Windows 11 successfully. One thing that I want to mention is in this 10 days after installing windows 11 you come back to windows 10 if you want to you have like the period of 10 days if you want to back to windows 10 if you're not i mean satisfied with using windows 11 or if you have any issues with it so if you want to back to windows 10 you just go to settings and search for recovery and here you can see go back if the version isn't working try to go back to windows 10 and if you clicked on go back you will back to windows 10 and that's it so because windows 10 files is still exist in your hard drive after 10 days it will be clean up and you will not be able to back to windows 10 so this option only you can go back if Windows 11 doesn't work as it's expected or doesn't work correctly or you have any issues. So if I mean Windows, if Windows 11 is not stable, you can back to Windows 10 anytime. If it's stable with you and working correctly, so you can stay on Windows 11. That was the explanation. Thank you for watching. And please help us with like and subscribe.